The new Altai main battle tank is said to play a pivotal role in enhancing the armored capabilities of both the Turkish armed forces and its international partners. This new tank, expected to enter service in 2025, could offer several advantages over modern NATO tanks like the M1A2 SEP V3 Abrams, Leopard 2 A8, Leclerc XLR, K2, Challenger 2, and Ariette. Compared to the M1A2 SEP V3 Abrams, the Altai's diesel engine offers higher fuel efficiency and simpler maintenance than the Abrams gas turbine engine, which consumes more fuel and requires more complex servicing. Against the Leopard 2A8, the Altai is equipped with the Acker Active Protection System, providing additional defense capabilities against anti-tank guided missiles. In relation to the Leclerc XLR, the Altai's modular armor design allows for adjustments and upgrades to its protection levels, offering flexibility not available with the Leclerc's fixed armor configuration. When compared to the K2 Black Panther, the Altai incorporates adaptations for diverse operational terrains, which could enhance its performance in varied environments. Against the Challenger 2, the Altai's 120mm smoothbore gun and advanced fire control system are compatible with a wider range of NATO standard ammunition, whereas the Challenger 2's rifle gun is limited to specific types. And if in comparison to the Ariette, the Altai features advanced armor and active protection systems, which are not present in the Ariette's older design. These comparative aspects outline the Altai's position among NATO tanks based on its design and systems integration. Incorporating lessons learned from South Korea's K-2 Black Panther project, the Altai is a fourth-generation main battle tank equipped with a 120mm L-55 smoothbore gun produced by MKE under a technology transfer agreement with Hyundai Rotom. This main armament can fire a range of NATO-compatible ammunition, with a firing range of approximately 3 km. This is complemented by a suite of secondary armaments, including a 12.7mm remote-controlled weapon station and a 40mm grenade launcher. The fire control system, command and control systems, and electric turret drive system are supplied by Acelson, while the tank's modular composite armor is produced by Rokitsan with design inputs from South Korean firms to provide higher ballistic protection. The powertrain for the first production lot will feature a Hyundai Doosan DV27K V12 turbo diesel engine delivering 1,500 horsepower, paired with an SNT Dynamics EST15K transmission. Future batches may incorporate the domestically developed BMC Power Batu V12 engine. The Altai has a maximum road speed of 65 km per hour, an off-road speed of 45 km per hour, and an operational range of 450 km. Its hydro-pneumatic suspension system is designed to optimize mobility over varied terrains and includes an automatic track tension system. The tank is also equipped with an isolated ammunition compartment, fire and explosion suppression systems, and sensors for detecting chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats. The Altai could demonstrate significant export potential, with Qatar reportedly placing an order for 100 units, the first 40 of which are expected within two years. Reported interest has also come from countries such as Azerbaijan, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and Oman, with additional potential users identified as Morocco, Indonesia, Bangladesh, and others. Its projected production of 1,000 units by 2035 supports the capacity for international deliveries, aligning with Turkey's broader initiative to establish domestic production capabilities for defense exports. <laughs>